Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on artwork inspired by the artist Cynthia St. James. Uh, Cynthia St. James is a very well-known African-American artist and her artwork, I believe, is inspired or her style is called Cubism. And so I thought her work was very beautiful and I've been a fan of hers for years. So I'm going to be doing a wall tapestry um, inspired by her work. For this project, I'm using leftover fleece that I had from a previous project, as well as a fat quarter that I got from Joann's Fabrics, and you can get those easily in the fabric section. They're already pre-measured, and they're really affordable, as well as leftover anacra or wax print fabric that I had in my stash. For a full list of supplies, please see the description box below for more details. The creation of this wall tapestry is pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to be taking um, cotton fabrics and I'm using the uh, black fabric as the background or for the base. And I'm going to be layering um, different uh, sizes of cotton fabric on top of each other to create the shapes that are inspired by the Cynthia St. James pieces and although she has different shapes in hers of like more square shapes some triangles I'm going to be focusing on triangle shapes uh, for my wall tapestry and then I'm going to be using bonding web to uh, fuse the tapestry together So as you can see here, I'm just taking the different triangle shapes um, and just layering them on top of each other to try to give uh, more of an effect on the wall piece and using colors that have a similar color palette. Now that I have the triangle pieces uh, laid out in a pattern that I like, um, I'm going to be going back underneath the triangle pieces with bonding web. And as you can see, I'm not being very detailed with the layering of the bonding web because it actually doesn't matter. I know for some people who are perfectionists, by all means you can, but I just needed to make sure that the bonding web was underneath there so that way it fuses. And that is the most important part with this type of project or with bonding web. You want to make sure that it's enough in there underneath it so that way it fuses properly to your back.
Now here I'm starting to make the faces for um, my triangle people. And so I'm using a combination of brown and black fabric. So I just wanted to show you how I make the faces. It's pretty simple. I just took a, um, a tape that I had laying around because it was a perfect round shape and using a fabric pen to make sure I uh, was able to trace out um, a circle and cutting it out and making sure I had enough so that way I can put it on top of the triangles. So now I'm going to be taking the black bondy web and fusing the tapestry together. So I'm just going around the perimeter of the tapestry and making sure that I go around it with the iron to make sure that everything is um, in place.
So now I'm going to be making wall hoops for the back of the tapestry. And it's pretty simple. I'm just taking um, leftover uh, fleece fabric and um, making a loop and using the bonding web in between the fabric pieces and um, also for the back of the tapestry and just fusing it all together. And here you have it. Here is my Cynthia St. James inspired wall tapestry for Black History Month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful and inspirational for ideas that you can make for Black History Month crafts. 